hey guys welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for stopping by me today hope you guys are staying safe and well out there and we're just gonna jump right into this tutorial because it's gonna be a full face from the brows to the lips the whole thing so how i fill up my brow for my brows very lightly with this matte velux brow pencil and the shade taupe and i only fill in the end part of my brow just to enhance that tail area a little bit more and then i'm gonna use my Too faced concealer in the shade chestnut and i'm gonna use that to just as my eyeshadow primer and also to just clean up my brow this is a step that i haven't done in over a year to be honest cleaning up the brow but today i just felt like it so here we go and the brush that i'm using for this is from mac this is number 242 i'm gonna use that to just shape the bottom half of the brow or the bottom part of the brow and also bring it over my eyelid as my eyeshadow base and then i'm gonna take that blending brush and i'm gonna use that to just blend out that area so that everything is nice and seamless now i'm gonna set the crease part of this with the fenty loose powder in the shade honey yes i think it's the shade honey that's the travel size i'm just going to use that to set just the crease and up into the brow and then i'm going to go in with this ace beauty palette um this is their vintage dawn palette and i'm going to go in with the yellow from this palette it's called daybreak i've used this yellow before and it's it's it works well it's pigmented of course it's yellow so you're going to need to get a couple of dips in it you're gonna need to dip into the shadow a few times to have it show up especially because i'm not using like a white base i'm using more of a a natural base which is a concealer right if i use a lighter base then it would have shown up much easier but this is how i want it and it works perfect for me then i'm gonna deepen the crease a little bit with the color called pyramid which is like a burnt orange like a deep orangey brown and i'm gonna blend that back and forth in the crease and also taking it all the way into the inner corner of my eyes okay so i want this color to be right through the crease I'm going to just keep adding until I get to the intensity that I want. Okay. Now, a lot of people like to add a lot of, uh, like a, a lot of shadow first and then blend. I like to do the opposite. I like to add it gradually as I see I need it. Okay. So I like to go in lightly and then build it up versus vice versa. So after doing that, I'm going to go back with a little bit of the yellow on that 242 blending brush. And then I'm going to just diffuse all the ends. Make sure everything is nice and blended. You know, take the double take in the mirror. Make sure you're seeing all the corners. Then I'm going to go in with the darkest brown on the palette. And I'm going to use that on the outer corner and also bring it in towards the inner corner of the eye. But only about only past halfway i'm not going to bring this all the way down to the tear duct i'm just going to bring it like about half to three quarters of the way in okay i'm just going to blend back and forth just to make sure everything is nice and seamless i don't want this to be an intense dark look i just want it to be more like a soft spring look okay now moving on to the lid color i'm gonna take this kind of like pale sky blue color from the palette it's called dew and i'm gonna use this on a brush and i'm also showing you how i use my finger to apply it on the other eye and i liked it more because it, it it packed on more of the shadow and the intensity faster but i use the brush first on the that eye <laughs> And then I went in and used my fingers to apply some more color over it. So I used a brush first to give me the shape. And then I went in with my fingers just to pack on a little bit more intensity. Okay. Now on the other eye, what I did, I used my finger to pack out the intensity first. And then I used the brush to shape it and blend it out. Okay. So you could choose whichever way. The way I like more is actually this way, I should say. I don't know i think both of them turned out looking great so yeah so after applying that i went back and forth with the brush in the crease just to smooth everything out and then i went in as i told you guys with my fingers to pack on the color a little bit more pack on the shadow a little bit more
Now I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce the end of this with the dark brown and I'm just gonna go on the edges just like that just blend back and forth just to diffuse it and make it you know a little bit more seamless this is not a cut crease this is just just a simple blending eyeshadow look now we're gonna apply an eyeliner and this is the Maybelline eye studio in the shade black I think I think the shade is called black but yes it's their black gel eyeliner and I'm gonna take that on a 208 MAC angle brush and I'm gonna use that to just create a line over my eyelid I'm not gonna wing it or anything I'm just gonna create a line just so it just give me more of a polished look as you can see that actually that already made my eyes look a little bit more open that's because of the way I shape my eyeliner smaller in the inner corner and as it goes towards the end they get thicker now I thought I was doing something by taking this dark navy blue shadow in the palette and putting it over the black I intent in my head I thought it was gonna look like a midnight kind of blue like really dark blue but no that black conquers okay so that didn't no don't do that um no don't, just don't do it I guess you'd have to use like a blue pencil as a base first and then put a shadow over it if you wanted to show up any type of blue or I gotta find some other ways to do it now moving into the skin I'm gonna take um, my Fenty Beauty primer I think this is a soft matte one and I'm gonna blend this all over my face mainly in the t-zone area and then I'm gonna go in with this MAC conceal and correct palette I'm gonna take that deep orangey brown color on the top right hand corner and I'm gonna use that just to correct around my mouth area and then I'm also gonna put a little bit of this under my eye just closer up to my tear duct area where my under eye is the darkest okay so I'm gonna use that to correct first I know it don't look like it made a, a major difference but trust me when you take a flash photo and you do not correct certain areas it kind of shows through then I'm gonna take this like deep brown color and I'm gonna use that to contour under my foundation so I'm gonna do a cream contour today with this palette also and I use my fingers to just apply it in the area where I want it and also to blend it out your fingers work best with this cream palette because it helps to melt it so that it's easier to blend you know the warmth of your fingertips and help to melt it and just help it to blend a lot easier than if you should just go directly in with a brush I'm also going to take whatever is left on my finger and I'm going to rub that on the side of my nose mainly starting from the brow area downwards and then I'm also going to take this under my jawline and then I'm going to go with foundation okay now for foundation I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty foundation the shade 440 and this is their soft matte foundation I'm gonna use two pumps to do my entire face. Um, you could use more if you want to or less. This, I feel like it's a moderate amount for a medium coverage. I do not mind seeing my skin through my foundation a little bit. This might end up becoming full coverage when I put the foundation powder on top anyway. But yes, I'm gonna blend this all over my face and I love this foundation. Just look at that finish that it gives you. Just flawless, smooth, even skin with just a little not looking cakey anything like that this is one of my favorite foundations when i'm going to take pictures and stuff like that i'm not going to line person it can look a little bit reddish that's a fact and then i'm going to take my Too Faced concealer the same shade that i use as my eyeshadow base which is chestnut i'm going to take that to conceal my under eye and also my all areas where i want to bring forward slash conceal okay now i'm going to blend with a damp beauty blender the other side of the beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend this out now after blending out the concealer I like to go back with the set of sponge that I use for the foundation and just go over the edges so everything is nice and blended and then I took a further step just a double concealer and try to get rid of that kind of line that's showing and I use the um the kind of the bag that's under my eye right there that's what I'm talking about I'm talking about line but I use the elf concealer in the shade deep olive 
now i took that under my eye and also the center of my nose because that will make it look a little bit brighter i do not like highlighted nose like with, with the shimmery highlight so i like to brighten with a concealer okay now i'm going to take my laura mercier powder in the shade deep medium deep i'm going to press this over all the areas where i concealed now I'm not going to bake, I'm just going to press this powder in and I think I'm going to leave a little bit excess on my nose just to suck up all that oil on this oily nose of mine but that's the only area where I will be leaving any excess powder. Now to set the rest of my face I'm going to take the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW50 and I'm going to use that just to set all the areas that we didn't set with translucent powder. And I'm also going to use that just to set the nose contour. Because this, I won't go in with a deeper color along my nose. I already did that cream contour that's a little dark. So I'm just going to set it with my face powder. Okay. And I'm going to blend that over all the areas. As I said, where we didn't put translucent powder. Don't forget your neck. If you're wearing a headband, make sure you blend under that headband because when you take it off, you will see that line. Now I'm going to go into one of the palettes that I've fallen in love with lately. This is a contour and highlight palette from Cover FX. And I think this is, a, is either medium dark to dark or medium dark one of the two but it's the darkest palette that they do carry in this one over i wish the container wasn't white so i'm going to use that to set the areas where we cream contour okay just to reinforce that contour a little bit and i like this powder because it's not it's not like intense it's very sheer and natural looking so it works great when you're just going for like a more softer finish in your contour so yeah i'm gonna take that everywhere and also along my hairline Okay, so I'm moving that headband back and I'm going to blend. All right. Now, after doing that, I'm going to take the finishing powder that's also in this palette. It's a very sheer um, peachy orangey undertone powder. And I'm going to use that to clean up the contour. That's a little bit much. I don't normally use that much, but it's fine. I'll just blend it away. Okay. The good thing with this powder is that it's very sheer. So it's not too intense if you apply too much you could always just tone it down now i also use that powder to kind of blend the contour area just for a smoother transition so you see me blended it on my cheek just on the edges of the contour and i also put it on my nose don't ask me why i guess i just really like this finishing powder so i kind of put it all over my face basically okay so now what I'm going to do is apply blush. This blush is from Wonder. 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 Yes. And this is, um, uh, I'm going to leave the name of these things in the description because I'm forgetting the names as I speak right now. But it's a nice soft pink blush, which has a glow to it. So it doesn't show up intensely pink. It just show up very soft and like glowy. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with the salad from MAC. And I know it looks very light, but it's not. I'm just watching it to show you guys. I'm going to use that. It has like a very light golden undertone. Right. So I'm going to use that for my highlight today. And I'm just going to apply a small amount. I am not a highlighter girl. I feel like I say this in all my videos, but I'm not very big on highlight. I just like it to look like a nice soft glow. So I'm going to apply that on my cheeks and just blend it out. Also over the, my, the arch of my brow and on my cupid's bow. Okay. Now sometimes when I feel jumpy, I take whatever is left on the brush and brush it on my nose. But not today. Okay. Then I'm going to set my brows. Let's finish up the eyes. For the eyes, to finish up the eyes, I'm going to take this chromographic pencil from MAC Cosmetics in the shade Chrome Yellow. And I'm going to use this in my waterline. This pencil is super pigmented. I love it for that and it stays wherever you put it. I love to use them for my waterline. Works really well. Now, on to go under that waterline on the eye, I'm going to take a very small brush. I think this is an angle brush, but it's thicker. So it's going to pick up more product, okay, versus the thinner one that I use Versus the thinner one that I use for highlight for eyeliner. Whoa, I can't even speak. But yeah, I'm going to take that midnight blue that I tried to use earlier. And I'm going to bring that under my lash line. Just so it could be more contrasting. So that yellow pop more. And just to give me more of like a finish 
look okay now i'm going to take the same yellow that we used in the crease and i'm going to use that just to set the waterline this is not something that you have to do especially if your eyes are sensitive or they like to tear up as you can see my eyes they get a little bit more red from doing this but just be very careful to get it onto the waterline and not into your eyeballs okay use a very small brush that you could control very easily and yeah you should be fine okay now i'm gonna take the orange in the palette this is called horizon and i'm gonna use that to blend out that deep dark blue that we use underneath just to make everything more soft and smooth and blended now i'm gonna take that color from the palette which is also a yellow tone but it's shimmery so it's gonna give me more of that reflex that i'm looking for for the inner corner okay now doing that i'm gonna take that in the in the tear duct and also blend it up and into the crease in that area in the beginning of the crease right there just for it to be more nice and seamless and more open okay now these are the lashes i use out of my lashes from aliexpress and i just curl them up and then i apply them okay and that's it with one lash on you see how much of a difference lashes make you know i love me some good lashes okay now i'm gonna take some mascara just to do my bottom <laughs> lashes and i i grabbed the wrong the wrong mascara because that one is a little bit too thick and clumpy i don't really like that mascara but i'm gonna reach for my hank and henry mascara which has like a very small side for our bottom lashes and also a thick side i use the small side first and then i use the thick side to pack on some volume okay and then i'm also gonna apply la uh, mascara to my lashes under the fuzzies just so they blend evenly and then I'm going to go into lips, which I take chestnut, of course, to line my lips. And then I also use this liquid matte lipstick that I used in my previous, the last upload of makeup I did. This is the same lip combo, but this time I'm just going to use a different gloss, which is the also from Fenty. Of course, I love me some Fenty gloss. I use a brush just to blend this out so it's nice and like, you know, blended because me and lips is not my favorite thing, okay? Then I take the Fenty Gloss in Fussy and I just go over this because lips is not my favorite thing and matte lips is definitely not my favorite thing either, okay? So after applying that, I'm blending it just to make sure it's to the perfection that I want it. I'm just showing you guys how I just let the mascara whenever it smudges dry and then just flake it off. And yes, this is the finish look. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget the thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this look. And also for the hair portion, that will be uploaded after this. Make sure you subscribe. Yes, make sure you subscribe to your girl. And yeah, I guess until the next one. Bye, guys.